Hello everyone. So before ta mag-proceed formally sa discussion of individual metabolic pathways, um let me introduce uh, to you the concept of metabolism. Uh, of course, this is this is uh, not really um a stranger to you because um um in many ways no siguro you have been already introduced to this during your discussion sa general biochemistry. But um, the the focus of uh, metabolism in this subject is on the application to nutrition. So let me introduce you um, to the more nutrition specific discussion of this topic. So nutritional metabolism. Okay. So the energy of life is um of course uh at this point I assume that you have already um watched the first video and that is um energy and energy balance and you have learned from that video discussion that um chemical energy is stored in foods okay and that's what our cells harvest para ma sustain ang life no and yeah and in order also to support not just not just uh living no not just survival but also for growth okay in order for us to grow at least physiologically speaking kinahanglan nato input og energy and that comes from the chemical energy that is stored in our foods so kinahanglan nato na siya i-extract and you know at this point nga kinahanglan dapat muagi og digestion sa of course ingestion sa no ay ha dayon ang digestion and then absorption and then of course a uh, kapila na nako ni gi ulit, ulit no uh, after absorption they are um, transported through the blood and then delivered to all the cells in the body and then dito na dayon sa cells uh, dito na dayon magsugod kani atong mga metabolic pathways nga atong i-discuss so um the cellular respiration or aerobic respiration mauna siya ang kanang ko ano am um, involved in the harvest of energy okay and the other metabolic pathways that we will discuss is dili siya oriented to the harvest of energy some of it or some of them are targeted towards production of larger molecules and that is anabolism so uh, we will discuss that further later on no as we go uh throughout this throughout the slides of this powerpoint presentation okay so the living cell is a miniature chemical factory where thousands of reactions occur okay the cell extracts energy and applies energy to perform work okay so some organisms even convert energy to light as in bioluminescence so you have also um um learned uh from 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 the previous lesson no, that light is converted to another form it is not uh, created nor destroyed so yeah some organisms like some uh, bioluminescent fungi or some bioluminescent mushrooms they are able to convert um the foods that they eat through um kanang ko ano or that that chemical energy pwede nila ma-convert into light energy or radiant energy. Just like what they do. Kaning mga biolumin bioluminescent fungi. And also other animals na that are able to uh, create light such as uh, mga fireflies. no So yeah. So they are able to convert uh, them to light. Kita, we don't have the capacity to do that because we don't have the necessary enzymes para mahimo ng uh, work. No? Okay. So an organism's metabolism transforms matter and energy subject to the laws of thermodynamics. So metabolism is the totality of an organism's chemical reactions. So tanan ng mga chemical reactions sa atong lawas, the sum of it, the sum of them are called metabolism. So the summation of all of those chemical reactions is called metabolism. So digestion is actually a part of metabolism. That's the first part of the metabolism. And digestion is catabolic. Okay. So organization of the chemistry of life into metabolic pathways. So 
um, when we uh, tackle about biochemistry, nagyo na metabolism, okay? Because you know that's the chemical reactions that that occur in living organisms, and that's the very definition of biochemistry. In this particular subject, of course, it's nutritional biochemistry. So we have to correlate um, anything no, with nutrition, which is really not hard to do because biochemistry is nutrition. Okay, as what I have emphasized no, in the first chapter of this um, um, subject. Okay, so a metabolic pathway begins with a specific molecule and ends with a product. Okay, mauna siya, no? So, naatay substrate. Okay, the, the term substrate, mauna siya ang ginagamit para ma-transform siya into a product. Okay, so of course, um, nahuman naman mo o ka ng ano, um, oral recitation sa glycolysis and Krebs cycle. So, kato, glycolysis and Krebs cycles are two separate metabolic pathways. So, the substrate, say for example, in step 1, so sa kada step na ay substrate, then ay product, then ay enzyme involved. Kinahanglan din na ay enzyme. Okay. Mauma na siya ang unique feature sa metabolism na atay enzyme na gina-employ para ma-hasten up or ma-speed up ang reaction which is, you know, that is the very um, definition of enzyme. Okay. So, uh, say for example, sa step 1 sa glycolysis, diba? the substrate is what? Of course, uh, you know that's um, glucose, diba? And then the product is glucose 6-phosphate and the enzyme involved is hexokinase. So, in every step sa metabolic pathway, na inana, na itulo ka components. Okay? So, each step is catalyzed by a specific enzyme. Okay? So, kanin. So, Mula lugar ni step 1, step 2, and step 3. Okay, so sa kada step na ay ma-produce actually nga intermediate product. Okay, so na ay um, the raw material, so say for example sa glycolysis, so the raw material is glucose and then the final product is pyruvate. Okay, but in every step na ay ma-produce nga intermediary product or intermediate product or simply intermediates. So say for example, um, glycolytic intermediate. So, kato mga glycolytic intermediates, mauto sila mga product um, sa wala pa na produce ang final product which is pyruvate sa step 10. This is the pyruvate is the final product of glycolysis. But, kaning mga product sa kada steps, except kaning step 10, ang tawag is intermediates. Okay? So, yeah. So, basically, this is how we harvest energy. This is how we catabolize um, the foods that we eat so that maka-harvest tag energy and maka-produce tag ATP. Okay? So, gika, ang atong foods, of course, they are composed of um, daily included ang water dairy because water is non-caloric as what you have uh, learned from, from the last uh, video discussion, di ba? So, um, sa catabolism, which is, you know, the breakdown of uh, larger molecules to smaller molecules um, ang involved lang is fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. So your proteins are broken down to amino acids so during digestion you know, then pag sulod sa cell okay yeah so they are um, they can be um, either catabolized in order to form um, energy or anabolized para uh, mubalik no sa ilahang large nga form which is protein for amino acids glucose is glycogen which is a complex carbohydrate and glycerol and fatty acids which is uh, lipid or fat okay so when we when we want to harvest energy we do catabolism but when we want to store energy that is anabolism so, catabolism is a breakdown para makarelease tag energy, para makaharvest tag energy. Pero kung gusto na to mag-store, so we do anabolism. So, we we create larger molecules from smaller molecules. Then, katong mga larger molecules, dito na nato na store ang energy. Okay? So, kanang mga large molecules na we have fats and proteins and glycogen. Because glycogen, we do not, okay, recall that we do not, um, store starch on sa plants, we are animals so that's why ang atong gina store is in the form of glycogen okay so 
catabolic pathways release okay natay duha ka components of metabolism we have catabolic and anabolic pathways so catabolic pathways release energy by breaking down complex molecules into simpler compounds so from large to smaller molecules and usually kana siya nga process no it leads to energy production Okay, so cellular respiration is, by the way, the breakdown of glucose, okay, to energy in the presence of oxygen. So cellular respiration always operates um, with oxygen. That's why it's called aerobic respiration. Now, other kind which is called anaerobic respiration. So kanang anaerobic respiration, it can operate even without oxygen. That's why it's called anaerobic. And the other term for that is fermentation which uh, we will discuss in the next video discussion. So glycolysis is an example of metabolic pathway or specifically a catabolic pathway because it involves breaking down, breaking down of a large molecule into smaller molecule, which is pyruvate. Okay? So naatay mga intermediates, no? Kaning phosphoenol pyruvate, 2 phosphoglycerate, 3 phosphoglycerate, 1 3 bisphosphoglycerate, and so on. Metabolic map. So, I have already shown to you the metabolic, the whole metabolic map of human beings. Yeah. And then, a quart, uh, maybe a portion of that, a small portion of that is this. Okay. So, uh, so throughout the final term, we are going to discuss uh, one by one, w one metabolic uh, pathway at a time. Okay. And, and we really have to connect that with nutrition, no? Which is, again, not hard to do because ang atong gin, ang mga substrates ani kay nutrients. Okay? Para mag, para, para ang metabolism mag-work, nutrients atong kinahanglan. Okay? So, even the enzymes uh, wouldn't work without the vitamins, especially the B-complex vitamins no? because they are the coenzymes. Okay? So, uh, to formally define this, so this is a map that shows components of a pathway of metabolism. It is useful in tracing connections between pathways. Wait. Okay. So, metabolic map of intermediary metabolism. So, intermediary kay, this is just a portion. Okay. The whole metabolic map, katong akong gipakita <laughs> last time nga. Yeah. If you want a copy of the metabolic map, then I, I can show it to you. I can actually, you know, um, attach uh, that that no sa inyo hangkuan for for your kan for your kuan lang at least na may copy sa whole metabolic map. Although it doesn't mean nga kinang lang yun yung study yan tanan tan. Okay, para lang mo na na para lang na may copy. Okay, so um catabolic and anabolic reactions. So Nga nung catabolic pathways lang ang giingon dari walay anabolic. Okay, ang anabolic pathway is um kabaliktaran aning catabolic. So ang catabolic is i-break down, ang anabolic is mag-build kag larger molecule. So bali sa catabolic. So anabolic large complex organic molecules are constructed from small molecules. Yeah. So biosynthetic this is reductive then re mag require kag energy and the, the metabolic pathways are diverging later akong discuss nga nung diverging no and you know that catabolic is breaking down so degre degradative or de degradative oxidative or oxidative and energy liberation so i told you nga kung mag break down tag um large molecules into small molecules na energy nga ma release na energy nga ma liberate yeah, because that's the that's the main function of catabolic pathways. Then katong asa lugar, okay. So kung nasabtan yun niyo tong tong lesson nato sa last um discussion. So asa lugar ipadulong ang energy nga na liberate nga na release from catabolic pathways. Asa man, asa siya ipadulong. Okay, think of it. So if the thing that comes in your mind is ATP, then you're correct. Yes, i-capture na siya sa ADP. Then, uh, kana siya nga energy, no? mauna siyang gamiton para ang ADP o phosphate group kanang mag-combine 
in order to form ATP. So therefore, kanang ATP ni mo na anay stored energy. So kanang stored energy, mao na ang gamiton para sa anabolic reactions. So kumbaga, catabolic pathways, then katong energy, i-capture to siya sa ATP. Then kaning si ATP na sad, mao na sad ni ang kinahanglan para sa anabolic. So si ATP ni mo, i degrade na sad na, i-breakdown na sad na siya into ADP and phosphate group. Tapos, na-release ang energy. So, kana, kana siya ng energy nga na-release from ATP, mauna ang buhaton para makaproduce o complex molecules from small molecules. So, para lugar makaproduce ta og fats, glycogen, and proteins sa atong lawas, kinahanglan ng energy from ATP. Okay? So, that's why it's energy required. Okay? Reductive. Okay, nga naman no eh. Nga nung reductive man eh. O oxidative man yung catabolic. Because, uh, sige, kanisa sa catabolism na. No? So, para ma, para uh, makakatabolize ta o uh, molecules, kinahanglan o oxidation. So, kinahanglan o oxygen input and kinahanglan nga mag-donate ta o electrons. So, kibali, kaning catabolic pathway, ka catabolic pathways, are a series of biochemical reactions that give off electrons. Okay? So, that's why it's oxidation. So, na ay ma-produce nga mga electrons. So, asa man to nga mga electrons lugar, asa, asa lugar to padulong, dito sa NAD plus o sa FAD, FAD plus. Okay? Para makaproduce tag NAD H o FAD H. Para ma-reduce si NAD plus o si FAD plus. Okay? Kay mauto ang gamiton na sad to the ATC, which I will discuss later on. Okay. Um, okay, nga nung reductive man eh. Kay kinahanglan man good nga um, mag-donate or kinahanglan mag-receive o electron para maka, makabuhat tag mga anabolic steps or anabolic pathways. Okay? Mauna siya ang Yeah, mauna siyang ako ang i-emphasize later on kung makaabot na sa anabolism nga part. Okay, after this one, katabolism, katabolism sa ta, ay hata mag-anabolism. Nga discussion. So, mauni ang reason nung anong converging ang katabolism, then ang anabolism is diverging. So, converging means many tapos na yung few. Sa arrows, ni pasabot niya arrows. So, many arrows Taman nga, ni converge sila into one, into one route. So, that's why many to few. While, kaning anabolism nga diverging, uh, from few, na himong many. So, gamay lang, tapos na himong many, many branches. Sa isa ka branch, then, nag-branch out siya o daghan, kadaghan. So, that's diverging. Okay. So sa mga sa metabolic map nga inyong makita sa metabolic map sa mga catabolic pathways usually converging arrows ang inyong makitaan. Then sa anabolic pathways usually from few to many which is diverging. Okay. So anabolic pathways o diri pa nagsulod sa anabolic pathways consume energy to build molecules from simpler ones. So the the synthesis of protein from amino acid is an example of an anabolism. Uh, of course the other one is kung i-combine mang glycerol to three fatty acids para makaproduce og triglycerides. So that's anabolism. That's actually um lipogenesis or formation of fat. Then, para makaproduce the glycogen, kinahanglan og thousands of glucose linked together. So, that is an anabolic pathway and that is called as glycogenesis, which we'll discuss again sa anabolism nga part. Okay. What about exergonic and endergonic reactions in metabolism? So, an exergonic reaction proceeds with a net release of free energy and is spontaneous. An endergonic reaction absorbs free energy from its surrounding and is non-spontaneous. Okay, so, um, actually, ang, ang cellular respiration, okay, katong mag-harvest ng energy, di ba, catabolic na. So, it's actually... Um, exergonic because we release energy. Okay? So, therefore, kanang glycolysis, Krebs cycles, padulong dito sa electron transport chain, 
um, that's exergonic reaction because we release energy, di ba? Para i-capture siya ni ADP o P para may mong ATP, di ba? So therefore, catabolism is exergonic. While endergonic, which is mag-absorb kag energy, and you know that it's the feature of anabolism, di ba? Mm. Energy required man. So therefore, ang endergonic ni mo is anabolic. Then exergonic ni mo ang catabolic, which is mag-liberate man kag energy. Okay? So therefore, exergonic is catabolism, endergonic is anabolism. Okay, so this is just, you know, um, an illustration of the free energy ch changes or uh, that's G in exergonic and endergonic reactions. Okay? So, ang product, mas daghan na ang sa endergonic, ang product is mas daghan siya na, na store nga energy. Okay? Then, ang exergonic is mas ga, ang product mas gamay og energy. Kaya na-release man ang energy. Okay, tani kain absorb ang energy. Okay. ATP power cellular work by coupling exergonic reactions to endergonic reactions. Okay. In metabolism, guys, exergonic and endergonic reactions are coupled. So that means um they occur by pair. So dili nga hiwalay ang ex ang catabolism sa anabolism. No. They actually um Usually in the body, you no, know, they 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 really um operate simultaneously. They are coupled, okay. So a cell does three main kinds of work: chemical, transport, and mechanical. So to do work, cells manage energy resources by energy coupling. The use of an exergonic process to drive an endergonic one, okay. So para lugar ta makaproduce tag uh, large molecules, kinahanglan nga mag-harvest tag energy from food. So that so that's why exer exergonic process which is aerobic respiration is coupled to anabolism para kay kinahanglan man og energy di ba para makaproduce tag larger molecules. So asa man ta magkuwag energy sa atong foods nga ginakaon? Okay? I-convert sa siya to ATP o oh, para magamit siya sa anabolism. So say for example ha para makaproduce the cholesterol because in our body we can produce cholesterol in so in adequate amounts or insufficient amounts so that's why cholesterol is not an essential nutrient kay makaproduce man tag enough ng cholesterol for our body so para makaproduce tag cholesterol that's an anabolic pathway so kinanglan actually og ATP uh, input kinanglan og energy input so that's why it's an so cholesterol synthesis is an endergonic um, pathway that requires energy. Okay? So, most energy coupling in cells is mediated by ATP. Yes, because ATP is the universal energy currency of all living things. So, maunitong ak yeah, uh, I have already shown this to you in the last video discussion. So, um, a phosphate group, so, toloka buok, then an adenine which is a nitrogenous base and a sugar molecule which is a pentose kay limara man siya kabuok nga carbon so it's actually a ribose molecule so ku combine mo ni combine mo ni sila mahimong ATP so yeah katong ingon na ko nga ADP og inorganic phosphate ADP kay di man so meaning duha tri means tulo di ba so Kung, du kung duha nga phosphate group, okay, then, mag-add kag isa ka phosphate, kinanglan og energy. Okay? So, kung mag-combine ang isa ka inorganic phosphate, then, isa ka ADP, then, then energy, makaproduce kag ATP. But, kung gusto ni mo i-break down ang ATP, so, a phosphate, an inorganic phosphate is released, an ADP molecule is released and energy is also released. So that's why your ATP is a, is a good source of of energy and it's also a, a great way to store energy. So ang mahitabo guys uh, sa catabolic pathway. So after after ma, ma break down tong atong mga food molecules. Okay. Kaning energy nga na release gikan sa foods 
i-capture na siya ni ADP o ni, ni inorganic phosphate para makaproduce ang ATP. So, this is actually a reversible reaction because uh, pwede ka nga ATP tapos AD, ang, ang result is ADP, inorganic phosphate energy, and then pwede sa bali. So, that's why this is a reversible reaction. So, this is actually called the ATP cycle. Okay? So, how ATP drives cellular work? Okay, so mechanical work, transport work, and chemical work. So, kaning mechanical work, this is usually um in the muscles. So, for example, if you want to move, you want to move around, walk. Actually, basically, tanan mga hand movements. Naman ay muscle contraction. So, kinahanglan og ATP ana. Okay, so so um ATP actually is converted to ADP plus an inorganic phosphate and energy is released then kato siya nga energy nga release is used to move the muscles so therefore naka generate tag motion naka generate tag movement so that's how the muscular system actually drives its work through ATP so again asa gani gikan ng energy gikan sa ATP gikan sa tong foods okay Transport work. So, ATP phosphorylates transport proteins. Okay? So, actually, kanang active transport, di ba? Kinanglan siya og ATP. That's why it's called active. So, yeah. Um, most of the transport foods at sa atong lawas, no? Sa atong mga cells. Kay, uh, besides sa uh, passive and um, facilitated diffusion, active transport foods. So, kinanglan siya ATP. Then, chemical work. Para makaproduce og um, another molecules, kinanglan og uh, ATP. Especially if um, anabolic pathways. Hmm. So, kani. So, ATP, na, na, na kayo ma-form yung ADP and phosphate. So, therefore, energy is released. Para makahimot tag work. Okay? Okay, so mauni to ako ingon ni ATP cycle. So kung gusto nimo i-break down ang ATP into ADP and P na ay ma-release nga energy. So this is um um for endergonic energy consuming processes. But if gusto nimo um maka-form og ATP then mauni siya ang energy nga gikan sa catabolism, nga gikan sa exergonic pathways and energy yielding processes. So, uh, after na ito ma-harvest ang energy, gikan sa food, so, ato na siya i-trap sa ADP and P. Diha siya actually, asa as a good dapit i-trap ang energy, guys. Diri sa phosphate group. Diri. Ang tawag ani is phosphodiester band. So, pila ni siya ka-kilojoules ang iyang net, ay, ay, ay ang, ina, ang iyang value. Yeah. So, so, kung i-break down ni mo ni, you would really expect na na energy ma-release. Okay. Okay. So, that's your ATP cycle. So, energy released from ATP drives anabolic reactions. Energy from catabolic reactions recharges ATP. Okay? ATP versus food. So, ATP is a renewable energy resource. Kay bisag pa i-break down na tong ATP into ADP. Basta na alang tay energy input. As long as naapatay pagkaon or bisag na atay pagkaon pero naatay enough fat and um, glycogen stores, pwede ra nato na i-break down para makaproduce og energy. Then kan asa nga energy i-trap sa ADP and P para may mong ATP. So that's why it's a renewable energy source. Then Kang kaning bond sa ATP no they are very unstable so that's why they are easily broken down so that's why ang energy is um very easy to release sa ATP so mao na nga gihimo siya nga that's why evolution really um said that ATP is the most efficient energy currency um in living organisms because it has very unstable bonds so very easy lang ang pag-release sa energy Sa food, long-term energy storage. So, mauna siya nga, kinahanglan yun nga, naatay food because ma diha ma store, diha na store ang energy nga kinahanglan sa itong lawas. And then, stable ang mga bands. So, para mas stable ang mga bands nga naasa food. 
So, na, mas stable ang naa sa starch, sa proteins, or sa fats. So, kinahanglan na siya enzymatic reactions para ma-break down nga ban, para ma-harvest na ton ang energy nga naa diha. Okay? So, as, okay. How important is our ATP? No ATP production equals quick death. Okay? That's why guys, um, na ay mga poisons that target the electron transport chain because kanang electron transport chain, mauna siya ang chain of proteins nga naa sa mitochondria sa cell. So that's why ang mitochondria po, no, is called the powerhouse of the cell kay diha ma-produce ang energy. Ay, di, di, yeah, diha ta maka-harvest og energy, diha ta maka-produce og ATP. Okay? So if na ay mga poisons that target the electron transport chain, quick death, sudden death, insigida nga death ang result. So, say for example, ka ng mga cyanide, okay, ka ng unsabay mga cyanogenic nga mga poisons nga makita nato sa foods. Just like ka ng hilaw nga kamuting kahoy, taas kayo nag cyanogenic glycosides, kung hilaw ni mo kaunun, no? So, ka ng cyanide, it would, it's actually a competitive inhibitor sa ATP synthase. So, dili dili maka work dili maka work ang ATP synthesis dili siya maka trap og energy para mahimong ADP og ATP okay so therefore um walay ATP production walay energy nga na capture so that's why um um quick death ang result sa cyanide poisoning due to you know ingestion of cyanogenic glycosides like raw um and say ni raw um, kamuting kahoy or raw cassava. Humans use clothes to their body weight in ATP daily. As in, daghan kayo tag ATP sa atong lawas. Okay? So, trillions of ATP molecules actually. So, a cell's ATP content is recycled every minute and it has to be recycled very quickly in order to drive many chemical reactions in the body, in order to drive the whole metabolic pathways. Okay. So yeah, um kaning mga energy nga wala na to na ko ano. Okay, wait. Kaning mga energy nga wala na to na wala na na convert sa ATP no. This is released as heat. Yeah. So that's why um katong akong lesson sa last video discussion nga dili tanan ma-capture sa ATP na ay masayang nga energy in the form of heat, ma-release na nato. Na Bisag pa, wala ta ga, ga kuan bitaw, ga physically, ga, ga, ga kuan, ga move, or wala ta ga, ga do of physical activities, naaragid na ma-release nga heat sa tong lawas without us even knowing. Because that's the heat that comes off sa metabolism. So, kana siya nga heat is unusable. So, I told you that's, that's an entropy, di ba? That's a source of disorder. Kaseka sa second law of thermodynamics. Okay. So, enzymes speed up metabolic reactions by lowering energy barriers. So, that's why I told you ganina nga, kinahanglan ay enzymes sa metabolism because they tend to speed up the metabolic reactions. So, without enzymes, uh, metabolic reactions cannot proceed fast. So, life would cease to exist. Okay. So, a catalyst is a chemical agent that speeds up a reaction without being consumed by the reaction. So, yeah, maunang enzyme. So, even though enzyme participates in the catalysis or in the reaction, um, the, the enzyme itself is not consumed by the reaction. So, it stays the same. The structure stays the same. So, that's, that's, that's the feature of catalyst. So, that's why enzymes are very good catalysts in nature. Usually, enzymes are proteins. Yeah, although although there are enzymes that are not proteins in nature, such as some ribonucleases, but um, they are just very few. Most of them, probably 99.9% is protein. Hydrolysis of sucrose by the enzyme sucrase is an example of an enzyme-catalyzed reaction. So, for example, uh, substrate is sucrose, then the products are um on some products uh, 
ka ng sucrase, kung mag-akapan siya sa sucrose, di ba? Um, glucose and fructose. Okay. So, inana. So, that's why you you really would expect sa metab- mag-discuss sa metabolic pathways na agad product na ma-produce out of the substrate and na agad enzyme responsible for that. So, mauni siya guys, ang dagway sa imong enzyme. Okay? Naa siya active site and naa siya substrate. So, kaning substrate, uh, mauni siya ang fit sa active site. Okay? Para makaproduce ta og enzyme substrate complex. Okay? So, ang active site nga naa sa enzyme. So, kani siya, this is the whole enzyme. Okay? Then, naay ka ng ang sh- ang shape sa enzyme specific to that substrate para mo fit sila mura siya lock and key so this is the lock ang enzyme is the lock and the key is the substrate okay so that's why your enzymes are highly specific because that enzyme is only capable of um attaching to one kind of substrate say for example sucrase ang iyang shape ana is only capable of fitting to the molecule sucrose. Any other molecules such as fructose, glucose, maltose, lactose, and any, dili na siya pwede makabind sa enzyme. Only sucrose. Although, na ay mga molecules, guys, nga parehas o structure sa substrate that they can inhibit that they can competitively inhibit that substrate from binding to its enzyme. So, that is actually competitive inhibition. So, say for example, na ay substrate nga kaparehas anig shape. So, therefore, parehas sila og shape sa active site. So, therefore, um, pwede niya to ma-inhibit ang true substrate kay parehas silag structure. Okay? But, actually, um, dili na na sila daghan, no? So, um, gamay lang ang ang similar kayo nga shape. Okay. So, once nga, um, nag-bind sila duha, so, na ay ma-form da yun nga chemical reactions, then, na ada yun product nga, mahimo. So, this is an enzyme, so, these are the substrates, so, very fit, very fit sa, sa shape, sa active site. Okay, na, ay, na siya active site, ha? Yeah. So, Diha mag ang active site is the site of the enzyme where the substrate attaches to. So yeah, substrate held active site. So naana day ma produce nga mga kwan. So mao ni ang product nga na produce out of the attachment of substrate to the enzyme. So mao ni ang gakahitabo guys sa mga steps sa glycolysis to Krebs cycle. So, and then it must happen very quickly. So, nganong quick man pud ang mga reactions tungod sa enzymes. Kung walay enzymes, the reactions would be so slow that life would cease to exist. So that's why enzymes are very important in living organisms. Environmental factors affecting enzyme activity. So, ang kuan guys, ang enzymes, they they can only function at a specific pH and at a specific temperature. Recall guys that, di ba ka mga gastric enzymes like pepsin, they can only function at a, at an acidic pH. Because of course, they are released in the stomach. So, that's why ang ilahang optimal um, function is dapat acidic na pH. Kung ang pepsin, ibutang ni mo sa alkaline nga pH, dili na na siya mo work. Possible nga madenature siya because it's still a protein because it's an enzyme. So, yeah. And, um, ang temperature sad, okay, that's why mauna siya ang basis no, sa um, kanang, unsa ni, pag blanch. Mag blanch tag mga fruits, iba ang blanch, ay, no, not fruits, vegetables. Kung mag-blanch na diba og vegetables, kinanglan og heat. Painitan na to. Nga man, unsa may ang purpose? Para dili madaot ang vegetables upon storing. Okay? Kaya ang makadaot mangud sa sa vegetables, no? Kaya ka ng mga enzymes nga naanadaan diha. So, para ma-deactivate ang enzymes, kinanglan painitan. So, that's why, um, kato nga mga enzymes, siguro ang ilang optimal temperature to work is siguro ka ng kuan lang uh, room temperature tapos kung painitan sila ma-destroy sila or ma-denature sila so that's why the, 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 the bottom line is that 
enzymes have their specific pH and temperature nga dito na sila mag-work. Beyond that, dili na sila maka-work. Pwede sila, pwede, or even, pwede sila ma-destroy. Okay? Yeah, mauna siya. Um, for example po, ka ng fish, di ba? Unsa man ang himong himuon sa fish para ma-store siya at um, ma-store siya for, for how many months? Kinangla ni mo siya i-freeze, di ba? So, nga naman, so, nga nung kung i-freeze man, unsa di ay may hitabo sa mga tissues diya sa fish na ito. Nga nung ma-preserve siya. Tungod kay ma-inactivate ang mga enzymes because sa fish, bisag patay na na siya, naapay mga enzymes diha nga pwede pa mag-work. Then, kanang enzymes mo naturally ang responsible for the degradation of the fish. Aside from the bacteria, mga spoilage bacteria, ang mga enzymes mismo nga na adiha, they, they destroy the tissue. So, that's why to, to, to inactivate those enzymes, kinahanglan nga, isubject sila sa temperature nga, dili ang ilahang optimal temperature. Okay? So, that's why they must be stored at a lower temperature. So, that's the basis actually of preservation of foods. Okay. So, yeah. Cofactors and coenzymes. So, cofactors are non-protein enzyme helpers. So, yeah, I have already discussed this. <laughs> diba? So, ang vitamin, which is an organic. So, that's coenzyme. And cofactor, which which are minerals. So, there are inorganic. Okay. So, coenzymes, ang tawag ni mo sa mga vitamin enzyme helpers. So, you know, nga, inani ilang, ilang function, no? So, the, the substrate itself, dili siya fit. Ang key, dili siya fit sa lack. Para mo fit siya sa lak, kinahanglan pa o cofactor or coenzyme. Para mas mo fit ang substrate sa iyang enzyme. So, apo, sorry, this is, this is ka ng koan, um, typo. Apo enzyme ni. Apo enzyme is the inactive form. The holo enzyme is the combination of the cofactor or coenzyme with the, with the enzyme's active site. So, ang holoenzyme is the active form that is produced when the coenzyme binds to the active site of the of the apoenzyme para to better fit with the substrate so that the substrate would be able to 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 be transformed into the intended product of that enzyme. So, para ma-activate ang apoenzyme, kinahanglan nga uh, mag-bind siya with a coenzyme or with a cofactor. Okay, so uh, the following slides are the overview of the catabolism of carbohydrates. So yeah, glucose is converted to pyruvate, so mauna ang glycolysis. Then pyruvate is converted to acetyl-CoA, and you know that the first step of cit citric acid cycle or Krebs cycle uh, needs acetyl-CoA. Okay, para makombine ma sa acetyl-CoA with, with oxaloacetate to form citrate, di ba? Okay. Then, katong mga NADH and FADH2 nga na-produce sa glycolysis o grab cycle, mauna siyang ipadulong sa ETC. Kaya kaning NADH and FADH2, this, these are the reduced forms, iba? Ma-oxidize sila sa ETC para makadonate sila electrons so that kaning mga electrons mo flow siya along the transport chain and the flow of electrons generates energy para makaform o ATP. Katong energy nga na-produce, from the flow of electrons is trapped into the ATP. And that is, this is the oxidative phosphorylation. So this is what we are going to discuss in the next video discussion. Okay? So notice the, the very important um, participations of vitamin B3 and vitamin B2. Okay? And you know that COA is vitamin B5. Okay? So metabolism is just, you know, the, the interplay of the many nutrients. So that's why metabolism is really a nutritional topic. Okay? Lipid catabolism is at how this is how we degrade fats, okay? Para makaproduce tag ATP. Okay? And then protein catabolism of course this is the breakdown of proteins para makaproduce tag energy or makaproduce tag um glucose. Ang protein catabolism is um, much more complicated um, topic compared to lipid and carbohydrate catabolism. So, that's why this is, um, ato ni siya i-discuss um, in the following days. Okay. 
So yeah, that ends uh, my presentation to the introduction of metabolism. Okay, thank you.